All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sell Like a Woman TV. You are in the right place if you are looking to increase your results, your revenue, and your raving friends. Eek, eek. I just said eek. Eek free. Today, we are going to talk about what to do when nothing is working. Oh, come on. I've got this, these beautiful slides. Hang on for one second, y'all. Welcome to Authentic Selling TV. You are in the right place to increase your results, revenue, and raving fans ick free. Today, let's jump into your belief gap. I bet you didn't even know you had a belief gap, right? I mean, what the heck is a belief gap anyway? And what does it have to do with selling? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, we spend so much time in the online industry talking about our thoughts and our, our limiting beliefs and our mind crack and our mind chatter and all those you can't, yeah, but you should. We learn how to work that. We learn how to navigate that. But you see, what always happens to me is my thoughts get smarter. Uh, so I, I may tell myself, you can't do that. And then, and, and then, and then I, I work that thought. I do all the things I'm supposed to do from a mindful, mindfulness perspective. And then my thoughts get smarter. My mind crack, my limiting beliefs get smarter. And so we're in this constant tug of war with our thoughts, right? And we know that we are not our thoughts. And experts all over the online universe are telling us, you can rise above those thoughts, but we are our beliefs. Think about this for a minute. Your beliefs actually control your thoughts. So what if instead of doing this tug of war with your thoughts, you're not good enough. Yes, I am. You're going to fail. No, I'm not. You're a loser. I'm a winner. What if instead of doing this tug of war with your thoughts, you actually got to the core, the center of what's causing those thoughts? And that is your belief, your belief gap. Think about this for a minute. When we're kids, if, if you celebrate Christmas, you know on Christmas Eve, Santa is coming. You know it. It's a fact. You believe it. You feel it in your core. You know it to be true. And when you wake up, Santa has been there. That is the magic of Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, right? It is your truth. Your beliefs control your thoughts. What in the world does this have to do with running a business? Well, I've got a graphic for this week and everything. Can you even imagine a graphic? Oh yes, I've got one. This, my dear, dear, dear friend, is your belief gap. So your belief gap is a, is, is, is a little bit like an iceberg and we can see the things on top of the iceberg. You're in a boat and you're going along, you're the boat and you're going along the, uh, the ocean, stick with me, like the Titanic, right? And you can see the things that you need to work on, uh, uh, the things above the iceberg. It could be that you have a knowledge gap, a sales gap, a branding gap, an action gap, a, it's skills. It's all the things we tell ourselves we need to do in order to grow a business. And those things are all true. They're very real. The top of the iceberg is very real. But what we don't oftentimes realize is what's underneath the iceberg. And those are all of the things that are causing your belief gap. I can't, not possible. I should. And my favorite, yeah, but. And those are the things that rip a hole in your boat and sink your beautiful business ship before you even know it. It's one of the reasons that you take all these classes and, 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 and you think you implement, but it's not really working. It's because your belief gap is getting in the way. Now, stick with me for a minute. 15 years ago, my husband suffered from three strokes. Literally, the neurologist looked me in the eyes and said, I cannot promise you your husband will live through the night. One of the scariest, if not the scariest moment in my life. We had been married for 13 months. A year later, uh, we're sitting in the neurologist's office because my husband did survive. He had wonderful medical care and he got a drug that saved his life. But we're sitting in the neurologist's office and, and the neurologist says, you have a clean bill of health. And I remember thinking, how can a 27-year-old have a clean bill of health who had a stroke a year ago? Like, like, 
I'm afraid he's going to drop dead. And the neurologist said to me, Kendrick, you could just as easily get hit by a car walking out of my office today. It's what you believe that controls your thoughts, right? So I could believe my husband is unhealthy. There is something wrong with him. He's going to drop dead. Or I could believe in the neurologist and his expertise by saying, you've got a clean bill of health. You know, you tore your left distal vertebral artery. It clotted to try to repair itself. And now you're healed and you should live stroke free for the rest of your life. I had a choice about what to believe. You have a choice about what to believe. You see, that was my belief gap. What did I want to believe? The facts were, if you look at this, he had had strokes. He almost died. The neurologist was giving him a clean bill of help. And so what did I want to believe below this? What was going to sneak up and really sink my ship? The same thing happens with your business. What's your belief gap? So I told this story at Make It Work Live about, I think I could play professional football. I do. I think I could play professional football. I think I could start in the NFL. Now, there are a lot of reasons that that might not be true, right? I mean, I'm a female. I don't know many females that start in the NFL, but I believe that if I worked nonstop, if I wanted to dedicate myself to that dream, I could make it happen. I don't have a belief gap. There's not much that you could come up with that I don't think I could do. Not because I'm fabulous, but because I believe that you can work and learn a skill to make it happen. Now you have to be willing to sacrifice to do that. So I ask you, what's your belief gap? Do you believe that your customers are out there waiting for you? Do you believe that being of service on social media works? And when you find yourself saying, yeah, but that is your belief gap kicking in. When you find yourself saying I should, or I shouldn't, or that's not possible, or I can't. Yes, those are your thoughts, but you've got a belief gap fueling those thoughts. And when you can shift the switch on what you believe, and I'm going to tell you how to do that in just a minute, then all of a sudden those thoughts are much easier to control. So what happens when you find yourself saying, yeah, but I can't, not possible, I should. Yep, you can work those thoughts, but ask yourself, what am I believing that's fueling this thought? And then find evidence that it's not true. So find evidence to believe something else. You know, yeah, but being of service has never worked for me on social media. Great. Do you know anybody it's worked for? Yeah, it's worked for Kendrick. It's worked for such and such. Great. Then let's talk to them. Let's, let's, let, 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 that's a skill gap. Let's figure out what they did and how I can do it in my business. I should have more people on my list. Mm, okay, well, what's the belief there? The belief is my business isn't going to work. It's never going to work for me. There's some secret. Okay, do you know that to be true? No. Do you know anybody who's made an online business work? So sell yourself on it is possible. And then identify what you need above the belief gap to make it happen. I can't, not possible, I should, yeah, but. Those are your belief gap. And, and when you look and say, yeah, but, do you know anybody who's made it happen? Do you know anybody who's, who's done this? You begin to sell yourself on what is possible. And here's the thing. I'm going to send a sales email. Yeah, but that's never worked for me in my business. My list doesn't convert. My list is a bunch of freebie seekers. That's a belief. It's not a thought. Your beliefs are controlling your thought. What if you change the belief, the belief that is fueling the thought? And if you don't have enough belief in yourself right now, I got enough to share because I mean it every week when I say, I believe in you and I believe in your business. So what's fueling your knowledge gap? What beliefs are fueling your knowledge gap? Not getting customers, business not working. What limiting belief is fueling that? And do you know anybody who's made it happen? That thing that you want to do. Although nobody's ever, no female that I know of has ever started in the NFL regularly. I believe I can do it. I believe it is possible for you and for me, whatever it is you want to do, sit on Oprah's couch. Great. Do you know anybody who's done it? Yeah, but they knew somebody. Yeah, but they had a lucky break. 
Yeah, but that is your belief gap and it doesn't serve you. And it is as easy as choosing what you want to believe and taking action towards that goal. That's exactly what we teach you how to do in sales school. We teach you how to reframe everything about selling so that your belief gap no longer exists around how to find customers, closing customers, and doing more of what you love. What's your belief gap? What beliefs are fueling your thoughts, your limiting beliefs? Understanding that eradicates the tug of war of, I can, I can't, I'm a failure, I'm a success. Like that is just like craziness, chaos in your head. So let's get in alignment here with our beliefs. What do you need to believe about yourself and about your business in order to go out and live the life of your dreams? I believe in you. I believe in your business. You can do this. Let's go. Thank you.